Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the platform. This is going to be uh, an information video right after this. Uh, the next video that's going to be published is the first actual tutorial. Um, you guys remember the video that I made about me covering the Leadworks engine and my first impression of the Leadworks engine. And just to recap, I was generally very impressed at how easy it is to set up a three-dimensional world environment compared to other engines of the same caliber. So, for example, if you, you can't compare Leadworks to an engine like Unreal Engine and, and um, Unity, for example. These, those engines are made by large companies to be used by large companies. And the fact that single people, like single man developers, are using those engines nowadays, um, it's these people are basically adapting themselves to use these huge colossal engines. When it comes to Leadworks engine, Leadworks engine is an engine made by a tiny studio for uh, to be used with, um, well, to be used by other small teams or single man developers. So there's a difference of capacity. These are two different tools. In the end, they're both made to make games, but um, it takes a huge team to wield an engine like Unreal Engine effectively. So what I really like about uh, about Leadworks Engine is that C++ development in Leadworks Engine is actually a lot more simple than C++ development in an engine like Unreal Engine. And this is um, this is why I got... Uh, I basically saw an opportunity for creation of some educational material, and I have a little, have a little character up there that's uh, trying to find a way down here, but he can't because, because there's no way from here. Uh, so he can only walk around there and try to get to me. Anyways, so you would be surprised just how easy it is to actually set up a 3D project in Leadworks. But even with that in mind, there is a very big lack of information on how to get a project like this up and running and I decided to go in like I've done this already once and I've had the project up once and I was following someone's tutorials on YouTube and when I came back to this and I tried to do this again the tutorials were gone so whoever like those tutorials were useful but now they're gone and now that educational material is no longer there and we can't use it to learn. So in this case, I had to go back to the docs. I have to go back to the manuals and online documentation for the engine and figure this out myself. And well, I got it figured out and I want to share that information with you now. Now I'm hoping that I can turn this into some sort of series where I come up with some interesting mechanic and that interesting mechanic will be shared to everyone and every, everybody can basically use it. Uh, now for the bulk of it, the information, like these tutorials, I'm probably gonna put up a couple of tutorials on YouTube. The rest are gonna go onto my personal platform called theconceptbay.net. Um, I am thoroughly unimpressed with YouTube's discoverability, so I decided to just take things into my own hands and develop my own educational platform, put up my own videos out there, and uh, who knows, maybe I'll, uh, I'll get this sort of a business up and running and this all of that educational material besides these first two introductory videos are going to go onto that platform so you guys can check it out take a look at it um and the first lesson is basically going to be a huge pile of information shoved in your face um so that you have that one single video should get you going on developing some sort of a 3d game in unreal in, in sorry in leadworks um, so that you have some sort of a ground to start working with, right? Basic functions, movement of objects, pairing of cameras, and making you know making keyboard input and mouse input, making the camera rotate, setting up some sort of navigation and collisions, and explaining the basic things that you need to know in order to get your project up and running. I got it up and running. There's a way to do what I did better, more efficient, but this works, and this works, and this is a this is this is just as fine of a starting point as any and later down the line in the later videos i can refine add more features um refine on some things that i did in this video but this is just as fine of a starting point for you to get things going okay so this is my starting message i hope you guys enjoy i'm hoping i'm gonna come up with some very nifty things like maybe some some spaceship mechanics some hovering stuff some automated stuff uh maybe something with bones and and things and i'll publish it on the platform and you guys can take a look at it and check it out all right so yeah 
that's it. I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, I hope you learned something. <laughs>